What's up everyone, welcome back to another video. It's me and the cats today. Phoebe's over there, sitting on top of my clothes. I wanted to put in the wash, so I can't put them in till later. Binks is here. This is Binks. Hello. Say hello, look. She's here, look. Yeah, that's Binksy. So yeah, it's me and the cats today. Um, you want to get down? Go on then. Right, see you later then. <laughs> She's just done a runner out the door. Um, yeah, if you headed over to my channel um, and checked out any of the content, then thank you very much. Please keep the support coming. Leave those likes, leave those comments, and really help my channel out. There is some more stuff coming up as of next Wednesday and some other stuff pre-recorded that I haven't been able to do due to work commitments coming up very soon, so keep an eye out for that. Uh, also, talking of videos, if you checked out the official discontinuation video for the Xbox One that I've got on my channel here, this video today follows virtually the same lines, um, but it's in regards to the Kinect cameras. Now, the cameras came out in 2010, seven years ago, and lasted up till today. Not today, but I mean lasted the years up to today. Um, unfortunately, Microsoft issued a statement Wednesday saying they were no longer creating Kinect cameras for the consoles at all and have declared them officially dead. So, if you haven't got one and you didn't buy one in a bundle due to the high price included with the console when it came out around about £500, or you didn't buy one separately at £130 when it first came out, you'll now find that um, an Xbox 360 connector was roughly about £30 plus, and an Xbox One Connect is around about £50 to buy now. So that's a slight change from the high prices that they were when they first released. So grab one if you want one. If you don't, it doesn't matter. Once they're gone, they're gone. But if you did have a headset with your console, which came with it in the box, then you can use the headset to navigate like you do talking to the Kinect. Just speak through the speaker part. And the Xbox will do everything for you, as the Kinect would if you spoke to it as well. Um, another piece of information I'll just leave you with is the fact that the iPhone X is due out next week. And apparently, though Microsoft had discontinued the cameras, apparently the technology from the Kinect will be put into the iPhone X. And what they're using are the algorithms from the Kinect in the iPhone X for the facial recognition project. So the Kinect will live in some sort of way, apparently, through the new iPhone X. While we're on the subject of X's, um, just a quick bit of information. With the release of the, oh, the I have Xbox One X in November the 7th, first of all, Microsoft, with the discontinuation of the cameras, may be looking towards the actual futuristic uh, implementation of holograms and further on with other styles of futuristic things. Um, that means possibly why we haven't got the connects anymore, because they're looking to have a console without the cameras, but do the same thing but in a different way. So if we do hear about that, that'll either be in a short blog online, or on a um, broadcast on Mixer, or at an a E3 promotional video or something. So that's probably the reason why they're discontinuing them. Um, the other thing is, with the Xbox One X, don't worry about running out and getting new pads and new stuff for it. Everything that you have on your console now, the pads, the Kinect, if you do have a Kinect and things, will all be available for use on the Xbox One X. Also, um, finally, is the fact that any games that you've got, there are no exclusives for the Xbox One X. We know that since the last um, promotional um, press conference, there are no exclusives for the Xbox One X. So all your games... 
that you have, if you play them on the Xbox One X, they will automatically be upgraded to a 4K format, so that when you want your higher definition display for your gaming, if you want it in a different display, then you'll be able to play it that way. It won't change the game, it'll be the same, but the graphical impact will be much higher. So that's a good benefit. And at a price of 449 it's not bad paying for just the console if everything else that you have can be used with it. So bear that in mind. So I'm going to leave it there. I hope you enjoyed the video and I haven't gone on for too long. Um, I'm going to say thanks for watching. I'm going to say have a lovely day or evening wherever you are. Look after yourselves. And I will see you on the next video. And keep an eye out for the upcoming content, new content, next Wednesday onwards. And please keep supporting this channel and help make it work. Thanks again and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.